Welcome to Arts and Props with GL. I'm Gail, and I just want to show you some new tips and tricks that I've learned when making fabric ornaments. I will not be using the X-Acto knife anymore because you can see that I'm struggling with making the line right here. And I'm showing this to you in real time so you can see how quickly this can actually go. Now I'm using the template that I used in part one that is on top of a roll of masking tape. That's a scotch masking tape to hold the ball up. You want to be able to see the hemisphere around the ball. Also, I looked at the hemisphere on the ball and I looked for the north and south pole to put a dot on each side. And you want to make sure that the hemisphere on the ball is parallel with the template that's on top of the tape. And you're looking for that dot to line up vertically and horizontally with the red lines right there. Now, when I make this template, I'm making it for a 1 6 divided ornament. So I'm going to be using the green lines on it. And you want to start from the template and where those lines are and work up to the center stop. But you're also looking to see that it goes through to the other side to help make sure that it's going to line up well. And you can see what I'm doing right here. And I always start from one end and work up to the middle because I have more control. Also notice that I'm using dotted lines. That way I don't have to worry about drawing a perfectly straight line or anything and it goes much more easily. And if there's a mistake, you can easily correct it. And now I took the ball out and I'm making sure the lines go through the hemisphere so those lines match up on the other side when I place the ball back inside the template. Now I'm making a mark for the South Pole. It's right there. And what's great is those little circles are already on the foam ball. And I bought these foam balls at Hobby Lobby, but I've also bought them off of Amazon. And these are the three inch balls. The ones at Hobby Lobby are a little bit bigger, but not by much. They're just a little over three inches. And it works on these as well. And so again, I'm lining it up with the vertical and the horizontal lines and then I'm just starting from this from the sides looking at the lines on the side and bringing them up to the center again and in a minute you're going to see me making a mistake and I'll show you an easy way to fix that too now I'm using a permanent marker which you don't have to use I'm using it so that you can see it more easily it's hard to see a pencil and a pen and I thought that this would work better for a video Now, it didn't take that long to draw it out. I got that little mistake right there, so I'm going to go back and fix it with the green marker. And then I'm going to take a blue marker just to go back over those lines so that they connect the way I want them to. Now we have this drawn out and we're ready to use a professional knife. The professional knife costs about $20. You can buy it at Amazon or at Michael's. You might even be able to find out Hobby Lobby. I haven't checked there, but I bought this one at Michael's and it cost me about $21. You might be able to get it as cheap as $18. And you want to keep your knife straight, more vertical to the ball, so that way you don't get wider lines if, if the side gets in there. So I'm starting to get a little bit more sideways there. When you cut through, you want to cut from the top down to the bottom and you want it to be a smooth even stroke and you don't want to wait too long but you so you're also cutting going slow enough that you cut through one quarter of an inch at least one quarter of an inch and you're going fast enough that it doesn't melt the ball so much that it creates wide lines you want thinner lines so you can tuck your fabric in and it holds the fabric in place another thing to keep in mind is after I do tuck the fabric in I am going to be covering it with some type of trimming And this is real time, so you can see that in about four and a half minutes, you can draw out your lines on a foam ball and create your lines, and then you're ready to tuck your fabric. And it goes relatively quick using the professional knife, and I won't be going back to the X-Acto knife for this reason.
and it's more clean and less mess. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please subscribe. We'd love to make more.